How's it going lads? So I'm going to start trying my best there to post videos again. I'm getting into it slowly, but I know and right now I don't know how long this video is going to take to get posted because currently I uh, need a new I need a different CPU for my computer because I put a new motherboard in it and a bunch of other shit. But uh, here's today's video. It's a about a 1979. Sears garden tractor or, uh, I don't know if I'm gonna try to get that running or not, but I also I put that seat on there before I started filming obviously But uh, this motor is rough doesn't have spark obviously. I mean All that shit down there kind of fell out of the flywheel. I turned her over at the old Milwaukee impact But we're gonna try our best to get her going here. I got the tripod So I'll set that up and we'll give her a whirl, eh? Good, got the impact here. So, I'm gonna take the side cover off because it doesn't have spark whenever I tried rolling it Whenever I tried rolling it over earlier. So, and uh, what my plan is is to put a, I think it's a 14 horse diesel clone in this with a turbo and a stack. So she's gonna be mint. Alright, so we're going to try popping this cover off here. Because, uh, there ain't no bolt on the other side. I mean, I know there's one down here, but this one isn't seeing the... be bolted in. And if it is, well, she's definitely stuck in there. So, um, got our little miniature vice grips here. Pop this clamp off here. Try pulling this hose off. Should just come off in there. No, just rip her off, you know? That's how you're supposed to do it, you know? So. I don't know if this one's gonna snap or not. If I pull both of these off, I could just probably yank on it. This one's done. Yeah, okay, look at that. If you look closely, there, there is wires in the uh, mouse nest. I can get this to focus, that's the only thing about it. Right there. Little thing right there. That's wires. That's not good. Yeah, she uh, looks mint in here, you know? Brand new almost, from factory. There we go, look at that. All right, so we're gonna try taking this off. Right here. So. I ain't gonna budge, but actually, nope, just broke the screwdriver. Her up. We got this screwdriver here. We'll try the second screw because it doesn't look as bad. It actually, looks a lot better compared to the other one there. So, Yeah, this one came loose, which is good. And we got it. So I don't know where the fuck my uh, air truck is to blow the ship. So we're using the uh, tire gauge. Oh, 
well, so, looks like somebody's fucking ass after a long day at Taco Bell, uh, so, wouldn't say she's too mint right now, but if we hit her with the wire brush a bit, should clean her up, you know, oh, that's bad, I thought that was a solid surf was behind there, apparently not, okay, well, There, we're gonna take this top cover off and we might check the uh, piss and whatnot. Even though I need a new gasket, but fuck, the shit's probably so old, I, it's not gonna fall apart, I hope. I just went and I put some fucking carburetor cleaner shit down there. It's not actual carb clean, it's. I think it's combustion chamber cleaner. Yep, she's meant for the pistons, you know? And I also just put some around there and around the pulley and. In the fucking exhaust, cause why not, you know? Oh, also in the carburetor, cause that's where she's supposed to go, you know? And these two posts here, I think those are for the magneto. That's on the floor there. And they're not magnetic right now. Or like, that's the magnet in the flywheel. The shit's not magnetic, so it can't send a pulse through there. Can't give me spark, so she ain't gonna run. So I'll do a little bit of research, see what I can do. And if I have to, I'll pull the actual flywheel off and... I have an engine that's almost exactly like this, and I know the Magneto is good in there. And I'll see if I can use that. Sorry about it, eh, boys? And girls. I don't know if there's any girls watching. But you know what I mean. I'm going to show you guys how not to remove a pulley. Or a flywheel, I meant. So, I just take my crowbar back here. And I mean, I just pound the fucking shit out of her. Then, put some pressure going outward. Beat the fuck out of that shit. So she feels like popping off, you know? Look, look at that, lads. Perfect. We're gonna see if we got spark now. Because I got the magnets all cleaned up. She does not sound healthy. That is probably not a good thing. And we'll, we'll get a different spark plug and we'll try it. Okay, we have to pop the uh, flywheel back off because there's these magnets on the inside. Apparently they're supposed to be stuck to this. And well, they ain't too stuck to. So we got some JB Weld here. Fucking right. I'm gonna go mix up some of this right here. Fucking, this is gonna be interesting. Just wipe that on your pants. You know, it's fine. I literally am just going and spreading this shit across here. Probably ain't even doing this right. I've never used JB Weld. But fuck, you know, it's a learning experience, right? I'm just going to get a nice fucking coat on there. There, so, it's all JB Welded on there. It's not tacky or anything. I mean, I should have let it sit for 24 hours, but it, I, it was 11 o'clock at night whenever I did it. And it's 11 o'clock now, so it's a, it's a, it's plenty enough hours, you know? Well, it's 11 a.m., but still. So we're going to go ahead and put that on and see if we got spark. So. Oh, she seems to be turning, so... Should be mint. Oh. And I got the joy of putting this fucking lovely nut back on. Alright, so we have to pull the flywheel back off because we still ain't getting spark. So I'm gonna undo these two screws here. There's one there. Oh, this. I say hi. Hi. <laughs> But we're gonna pull the stator off. I'm pretty sure that's the stator. We're gonna see if it's bad or not because I think she might be. Hey, look at that. Yeah. 
God, this makes everything so easy. Yeah, so with a little bit of pulling, I was able to uh, take the stator off. I'm pretty sure this is, this is the stator, but uh, she's a bit rough there. So we're going to clean her up and see what I can make happen, eh? Alright, so I was fucking around off camera, and uh, this wire here, uh, I was, well, I was rolling it over, and this wire that's connected to this, I don't know if you can see that or not. Oh yeah, but there's a wire that's connected to this, right? And that goes out of uh, the flywheel where all the magnets and shit are. And uh, I was rolling it over for fun, and it started arcing on this. So I put a friggin' test light on there, because that apparently sends a signal to the coil to spark it. So I went, and uh, it lights up. So it's a good sign. I'm going to try throwing the coil on there and see what happens. Okay, so the coil for this, it turns out it was completely garbage. And there's only like one or two on eBay, and they're de like they're not extremely expensive, but I just don't feel like putting money into it. So I went to my buddy, and I actually picked up this John Deere snowblower. That the engine runs decent. Like I'm going to see if I can put a different carburetor on it though, but uh, I'm going to put it in this. So that's what we're doing now. We're going to go take this motor, slap it in there for now. But I do want to put a diesel in this because I saw I got the inspiration from uh, Fearless Front. And that shit's fucking badass. So we're going to put this motor in here. Okay, so we got that out of here. So what I might actually do is I might make that a front attachment as like a snowblower separate part. But uh, got that out. Now I'm going to pull that out. I'm not going to record a lot of it because my camera's going to die. But that's fine, you know. Yeah, there's these two bolts under here. I got them loose with a ratchet, but then I realized they're past this. So in theory, I should be able to use an impact to get at them. Alright, last two. That should be it. Yeah, that she's fucking stuck in there. There we are. That is a surprisingly heavy motor. Alright. I just took the gas tank off of uh, this old motor. Or not the old motor, but this motor here. Yeah. Should look something like this, but I have to take this off. I'm gonna put the uh, other pulley. Fuck. I'm gonna put, gonna take that pulley off there and put it on this. But my camera's just about to die. It's like one bar left. So I'm gonna finish doing a little bit of this, and then I'll pick up the video some other time.